Let's take a look at some examples of finding inside and outside functions. So imagine h of x is given by this quantity x plus 2 and the quantity is raised to the fourth. So the inside function is that x plus 2 because that is what acts on x first. Make sure you say to the end to see a concrete example of this. So now we have the following. You identify the inside as that x plus 2 and then the outside function, this is the one that acts second, is that one parentheses, empty parentheses for now raised to the fourth. We're doing very well so far, friends. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Another example, okay? So imagine z of x is now equal to x squared plus 1, and the whole thing is raised to the 1 third. Again, the inside is the one that acts first, so that's the x squared plus 1. When you put an x in, you first square it, then you add 1. And the outside function is the one that acts second, so for now empty parentheses, and it's raised to the 1 third. You see? The 1 third acts after x squared plus 1. Now, often we do this instead. We write f of x equals x squared plus 3x, for example, minus 1, and you cube it. But then we call the inside u. So u is x squared plus 3x minus 1. We give it a name. That means then we rewrite the outside as f of u is equal to just u cubed, you see? Because the u plays the role of the x squared plus 3x minus 1. Another example. So g of x is equal to the square root of x plus 4. Same logic. The inside function, we can call it u is x plus 4. The outside then gets written as g of u now, and then becomes the square root of u. That's the outside. p of x is equal to 1 plus cosine x raised to the 1 half. So the inside then is the following, the 1 plus cosine x. Again, you can call it the inside, you can call it u. And then the outside just becomes, you should really pause the video and think about this, that just becomes p of u, and then u raised to the 1 half, as shown here. Then you have the following, so h of x is equal to cosine squared of x. So here you have to rewrite this first. It's really h of x equals cosine of x, that quantity is squared. Notice the cosine is within brackets, and the 2 is all the way on the outside. So then u, the inside, is cosine x. Then the outside, you would say, is h of u equals u squared, because cosine is u. Thank you so much for watching thus far. Please be sure to finish your super close. And if you have difficulties with math, remember it's a human science, so you just have to persist. Just practice a lot, and eventually it will be all begin to snap together, right? But you do have to practice. All right, another example. So f of x is equal to sine of x quantity cubed. So we here remember that x cubed, if you like, you can close it within parentheses. That's your inside, the x cubed, which means the outside would be f of u equals sine of u. Right there, that went a little too quickly. Okay, so then we have h of x equals sine of the square root of x. Same principle. That's your inside. The square root of x is the inside. So that means u is the root of x, and the outside then is h of u would be just sine of u. Another example, h of x equals the absolute value of 2x plus 3. By now you should pause the video and try this on your own inside-outside. So u is the inside, 2x plus 3. The outside is h of u equals the absolute value of u. Lastly, take a look at this one, h of x equals x minus 1 quantity squared. Let's do a concrete numerical example, as I promised at the beginning. So like, if you do h of 3, let's understand this. So we'll have 3 minus 1 squared. So notice the font, this 3 is going in here, but it's also going in here. And first we act on 3 minus 1, that gets done first. So that means that the x minus 1 is the inside part. Like this, first you do the 3 minus 1 to get the 2 there. Once you have that computed, then you take the square second. So that means the squaring function is the outside function. And then, right there, you see, that's why you end up with 4. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and check out my other videos. I'm Tom.